Hello, YouTubers. Hello, subscribers. I hope that you're having a lovely... Let's do that again. I don't know why that light is like that. It's like a glare. Okay, let's do it this way. I'll hold the phone. Hello, YouTubers. Hello, subscribers. I hope that you're having a lovely Sunday. So, I had a moment to read some of your comments. Kisses to all of you. Thank you for your love and your support. It really means a lot to me. And it's interesting to people want to know what's going on over here in the United States with Meghan and Harry. It's the fall. It's the big fall from grace. It's happening. It's happened. And it's over for these two. Nothing coming out of the United States is good press. Nothing. It's so negative. No one wants to do deals with them. The Hollywood elite doesn't want to have anything to do with Meghan and Harry. They have really kicked these two to the curb. And I can't help but keep saying it. It's the family element of it all. It's them going in on their families and thinking people would like them after all of that. But even so, if she had any substance to herself, wouldn't we have saw, seen it by now? One of you said, like, this is old news. Oh yeah, it is old news. Um, her Spotify not doing it herself, that's old news. And I heard that the Bill Simmons um, podcast was old. And so here's what's happening. The New York City car chase started it. That's what, boom, beginning of the end. And it brought unnecessary, unwanted attention to herself. And so since she was like, hello, I'm over here. Come take a look at me as I cry woof. Everybody turned around and looked at her and said, okay, what is it that you have to say? What, you have our attention. What? And so what is going on is everything from the past that she's done is coming back up. Just like the Oprah show. <laughs> All of it's going to come back up. All of it's going to come back and eat them. And nobody wants them. Nobody wants to brand these two. Nobody wants what they're selling. And it brought it on themselves. <laughs> I really feel during the Spotify, her pretending to interview people was a lie. And like someone said, she lied to all of us. She had us under the impression that she was on there giving us an authentic interview with the people on her podcast. And that wasn't even real. So what is real? And so what happens here, if you keep lying to us, then what happens is your credibility is shot because it's so much to make it. It's not just the trashing of the family, but it's the lies, it's the blaming, it's the, I gotta be, I have to build my brand by all means necessary. Everything centers around Megan, not Harry, Megan. When Harry's out and about, what is he doing? He's doing things for his wife. He's at court. He's making a fool out of himself for his wife. He's, he's promoting his wife's book, Spare. I don't remember Harry having a book called Spare before he met this woman. What has happened is the United States of America has realized that we are dealing with someone that is not stable, that's a fraud, that is disillusioned, that is trying to trick us into believing that she's everything that comes out of her mouth. Last night I was talking about her response to her response to um, to the magazine about Archie Well, trying to say that they're 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 a new company and they're going to have this revolving door until they um, and they're going to have different strategies. No, that's just your way of excusing that you're failing. Instead of admitting it, we're having a little bit of difficulties. 
No, that's not admitting anything. <laughs> that's saying that, oh, this is this happens to everyone. This is normal. There's nothing normal about the Duchess of Sussex having a charity or having something or trying to build something and it fails. No. And so, just like when she was trying to tell us, <clears throat> just like she was trying to tell us at when she was leaving the UK, how she was trying to blame the media and the royal family and everybody else as to why she had to leave. It wasn't her fault that she that she needed to come over to the United States and Montecito and begin working on herself and her brand and making money. Like Harry said, um, they had to hurry up and make money. That's why they signed those deals. And I'm switching again, and I, I do this when I talk about that because I can't say that without saying this. You sat down with your wife, Harry, and you let her encourage you to talk about how horrible your family was to her. And it was all lies. All of it. And then the nerve of you to, to run around on these interviews and ask your family, tell your family that you're waiting on an apology or nothing's going to get done. Threatening them on TV. We, we saw it. And for the life of me, Americans, the media over here hasn't catch, hasn't caught it yet, but they're catching it now. They're catching up to her drama. And so what happens in the United States, when you start going down, they start digging in your past. Harry runs around on these interviews without someone, Megan, she wasn't present. She wasn't running around holding her husband's hands like she was previously because she's distancing herself from the whole project because it was his book, not hers. The blamer. It's all coming out. And what's interesting is that my previous videos, I've been consistent with who I, we have been consistent on who this woman is. But since more and more receipts keeps coming out, it just gets. No, her and Harry got on TV and went around talking about his family was racist, unconscious bias. No, that they were racist because he was trying to change the narrative at that time that Megan never said that they were racist. Yes, she did. She said it. Her mother said it. On the docuseries, pure racism. Mm -hmm. That's not it. Harry had Doria and Megan running around telling him that his family was racist and convinced him to tell the world on her behalf as if this was going to make her happy. Every step Harry took was to try to please this unpleasable woman. And now he's out there looking like a fool. Like Red Bird said, a fool, a flop. You guys are flops. That's what the the New York, mm -mm, the Wall Street Journal has called you flops. Meaning poison, flops, non-workers, people that are not to be trusted at all. If you want to lose money, look over there at Megan and Harry. It's funny how... Spotify's money keep going up on how much they lost. According to sources, they they lost twenty five million dollars over Megan's Spotify deal. Well, you know what? You should have checked their references. Tom Bauer was telling us all through his book. You didn't listen. Nobody was listening. Nobody was listening to United Kingdom. That's what happened, Netflix and Spotify. And we can all say to those that were bamboozled and believed it in the United States that, oh, these two were the perfect people and they're going to be Montecito queen and king. 
probably giving her the benefit of the doubt. The TMZ and everyone has turned. She's one of those people, it'd be lucky if she gets a job. Someone says she could work at a restaurant. <laughs> one of my subscribers. She can open a restaurant. The Duchess, the Duchess of the Duchess and Duke of Restaurants. <laughs> It's the end of these two. They will, if she brought out any kind of advertisement right now of something that she's going to do, people are going to start talking about Spotify and Netflix. They're going to first talk about how she has cost them millions of dollars and lost them millions of do dollars and then talk about the new company that think that they're going to make anything off of these two because i believe wme is over there having a very difficult time trying to figure out what the heck are they going to do because she's under your toolages now she's under your brand she's under your name wme Megan, you might need to get your money back. Oh, they went around. They went around the country on a tour, trashing their families and thought that we were going to be, go, Megan. Free Megan. She's the damsel. She's the one that, uh-oh. Excuse me? <laughs> what? I wanted, this is what I wanted to ask those that were, were um <laughs> defending her did y'all not see the wedding did you not see the queen do all that stuff for her oprah you didn't see it when I mean, you flew over there with that pink dress on talking about you're in the house couldn't believe it now it's all coming back out <laughs> mm-hmm and you can't tell me that Oprah is not cr cringing. Cringing. Because you got to go back to the beginning of where it all started. Didn't it start Mexit? Mexit and Oprah. The lies. The, 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 just the things that this woman has done. And continues to do not taking accountability still think she's in some type of fairyland and dreamland that it's everybody else's fault Spotify's fault Netflix fault it's Spotify's fault that they wanted me to do it that way they the one set up the, the studio for me I didn't tell them to do that I didn't tell them to bend over backwards and put me a studio down there first of all Spotify why would she need a studio for two pop for two shows no, Megan didn't want to leave the house. And I got kids. I can't. I can't go out there. I got Archie in a little bit. They need to come here. I'm going to do it right here in my home. And I'm not even going to interview them because I don't even have time. They're not A-listers enough. And what has happened is the A-listers know that all she wants to do is be their friend because of who they are. Beyonce, Gwyneth Paltrow, all of them. It wasn't WME was going to kind of piggyback her thing with, with Gwyneth Paltrow or whatever she was doing. I could have it wrong, but my point is, is that no, they put the work in. You see their portfolio. We don't see yours. All we see is someone complaining and talking crazy and want to be without putting in the work. But you're beyond work. You're dealing with a reputation that is irreversible. And I cannot express this enough. Without the people, without us liking you and clicking on what you have to sell, it's not going to happen. You've already lost the UK. Now you've lost the United States because it's no longer split here. It is an overwhelming downfall of dislike of you and the main people that you need to make like you megan don't the producers 
the A-listers, the connections. You need each and every one of them to help you get to where you need to be over here in the United States because the name alone doesn't do it. Not in the United States. Catherine can be the princess all day long in the United Kingdom. And guess what? Be the She is the most talked about in a situation. You know, just bear with me, guys. This is assumption, me talking out loud. But she is. She is a star without even just coming out the house just dressing. All she got to do is put on a hat and then, she, you know. Meaning. She is royalty and therefore respected on so many levels and Megan had that too in the beginning but she opted out for this life but she wanted us to believe that the royal family kicked her out no then she told Tyler Perry that they were trying to get them to stay well which one was it kick you out stay her story is inconsistent no titles titles because of racism then she came out with that leaky story about how her and Charles were communicating. He wrote her a letter. She wrote him a letter. King Charles ain't writing nobody a letter. And if he did, he let her know, listen, I got my lawyers on you. Don't cross the line. Trying to build your reputation. Trying to see, 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 I told you the royal family was this mean racist family. No proof. That Gonzali, Gonzali, Benghazi lady, can't pronounce her name, that went over there trying to get dirt. And then I know because Harry brings it up in his interview. He says, well, the Benghazi issue that happened, you know, and, and then he turns around and says, Lady Hussey is like, she's a wonderful woman. Then why would you bring up the negative and then turn around and start praising it, praising her? No, you were trying, Harry was trying to bring attention to something that he and Megan had made up, I believe, and decided, oh, yeah, we can call it unconscious bias. Because... Harry tells us that Megan has opened up his intellectual insides to get him to understand that he didn't know any of this stuff before her. Why would you? Why would you be focusing on your family being racist? Because you married the wrong woman. And she has caused you more pain than anything. I have to admit, I never thought that she would go this level. She is trying her best to distance herself from her husband. But guess what? This week it was about you. Your name came up, Megan. This is your name. This is your spot. This is your podcast. Harry's name... Harry wasn't in any. And so why are we talking about Harry? It was you. It was you and your fantasy land and getting all these deals because you had to make money so you could live in Montecito. Because you have to live in Montecito and you have to be able to make the type of millions to be able to live in Montecito. So then it becomes the reason why you have to trash your family is because they didn't give you any money. So this was the only way that I can make money was to trash them. And it's their fault that we had to leave anyway. So, you know, it's all good. No, you have to get over here to California, Montecito by all means necessary. And since no one was watching you over here in the United States, you faked a car chase that didn't happen. And then you got our attention. And now it's all on negative, bad. What is she doing? Who? Poison. The journal. That's a big paper over here. I know I said that last night, but let me repeat it. The word is spreading like a wildfire over here. And I can truly say 
And I don't need no I don't need to interview anyone in the street. Have you heard about the fall from Grace from Megan? Because you can't go in the store and not read it. You can't click on your computer and not see it. You can't click on your TV and not hear it. Listen, I'm out of here, guys. Thank you for my lovely subscribers. I really want to read some of your comments one day. Oh, it's awesome. One of you asked me, and I think I said it already. Why are we talking about something that already happened? Because now the United States is looking at her in a, in a way that the United Kingdom is looking at her. But this affects her in, on a bigger scale because Megan is all about her brand and making money and being liked and being in high society. And without her connections, without good press, it, it fails. Dior was never going to, maybe they were. But they're letting everybody know, nope, that's not true. So who's lying? Why do, listen, why do we keep hearing lies coming from the Sussex camp? Why, Sussex, are you guys just over there lying and telling stories that don't make sense? I want to read the Jeremy Clarkson, um, what he said about her. I really do. I got that off of Sue Smith's channel. You know, on Sue's, she talks about Megan at the end and sometimes in the beginning, it just depends. But what I know notice is that her segments on Megan and Harry are getting longer because of the trouble that they're in. No one over here has come out and said anything on their behalf to help them through the storm. Every day this week, Megan has been hit with something. Every day this week. And guess what? The week is over and Saturday it hit the flop. Archie Will, flop. Spotify, flop. Netflix, flop. The only thing that they didn't add was that spare book. And the nerve of Harry to be running around advertising that still. As if that's a, if, as, as if that's one of those good reads. Love you guys.